next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian and best-selling author. Her new stand-up special is Just Keep Living. Please welcome Jen Kirkman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, I didn't wear this dress not to be twirled around, so I, I made you do that. I like the twirling. I listen, I know how to jitterbug. Oh, I, just... now, I would say Happy New Year to you. Yeah. But I, I have seen some of your tweets. Yeah. And this one uh, has got me a little worried about you. It says, You guys know that 2017 isn't going to be any good either, right? Just so we're clear, carry on. Thank you. But you got to be positive. You oh, be positive. I am positive. You're I'm positive. positive. It's gonna, it's gonna be horrible. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, this is what I love. Everyone's like, 2016 was so bad. We elected Trump. Goodbye. I'm like, you know what happens in 2017, right? That's a year he becomes president. And so I don't even know why we're all sitting. We are down the street. Like if we all what? just what? got up and went to Trump's house, which is like right there, we could all just like pick him up and like throw him in a dumpster. No, like this know. doesn't have to happen. Oh. Wait a second. First of all. First of all. You just got your name on a list. Second of all, oh. second of all, it's not Trump's house. It's Trump Tower. You know, like where you can pour boiling oil from. You know, <laughs> I don't think you get anywhere near it. They have he has security now. I'll just be like, oh, I'm one of the ladies that he hired, or something like that. Now the special you got on Netflix, uh -huh. uh, it's called Just Keep Living. That's is that that's Matthew McConaughey's. Yes, motto, it right? It's just, it's just he signs like, everything J.K. Livin. Yeah. Why, why did, does he know you're stealing from him? No, I, well, I'm trying to get his attention. And then, but my initials are J.K., so I thought J.K. Livin is, should be my oh, thing. Okay, 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 right. Yeah. But I, I'm kind of inspired by it. I mean, like, it's sort of a, it is really our only choice. And I used to, like, I'm from a kind of a negative uh, Catholic family, you know, and I don't really have any uh, mm -hmm. inspirational people. Like when my grandmother was 84, she started taking antidepressants, and we were like, "Why are you doing that, Nana?" And she's like, "Cause I can't stop living." And so, like, you don't want to. Wait. Yeah. So, she just couldn't handle the fact that she was healthy. She was just like, "God must hate me. He's not taking me," you know. So I was like, "You know, I need something positive in my life," and I was like, "I think just keep living is like a really cool motto." I have it tattooed on my ankle. You can't see it. Do you but for real have a tattoo? I really do. Ankle? Do you want me to? I can't well, I show it to you. I don't think you can take your. I can take my tights off, but it. I don't be... think that would be appropriate. Well, you can't see it if I do, though. All right, let's do it. Let's just if I do it, just I'm like. I'm not gonna stop you. Women are good at this. I could take my bra off too without you mm -hmm. even seeing anything. Mm -hmm. uh, -huh. uh huh. Hold on. Get that up here. Just. Just keep living, JKL. That's nice. Thank you. Hold on. Let me finish that. Let me finish that for you. Get that back. Get that back up here. Mm -hmm. There you go. I need Trump's spray tan, or I'm very white. Not that there's anything wrong with being white. No. I'm no. very proud. To, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, I understand that on this special, uh -huh. speaking of being proud, you're a proud woman. That's on right. the special, you 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 deal with catcalling. Yeah. Like you, have you been catcalled? I mean, this is like a common experience of, for women. But it is. A lot of cats call me. No. Um, I have a no. Yeah, catcalling, street harassment happens all the time. We're just so used to it. And then now I think women are talking about it more. But it's so. I mean, of all the women's issues, this is one we can nip in the bud in two seconds. How, you know. But men will. Men are, are pigs. Yeah, but we, just like, just don't yell at us. It's that simple. I feel like it's so old timey that if you're gonna cat call a woman, your car horn should be like, oh, God. you know, like it's just. <laughs> so, but this one time, but I'm so like hypersensitive about it that if I even see a man on the street, I'm like, get away from me. And so I was walking down the street in, in down south by myself, and this down south, like south in America, south in America, oh, like okay, North yeah. Carolina. Okay, yeah, that sounds south. Uh, and it was, you know, nice night, dusk. I'm taking a walk, and this guy in a truck drives by, a white guy in a truck, and then he stops and he sees me and he pulls over, and I'm like, uh, yeah, in 15 minutes there's just going to be flowers and candles where I'm standing. Like I'm dead. It, that's a street death joke, and so. Um, <laughs> And I was really afraid, and he goes, excuse me, you mind if I say something real creepy to you? And, That's and, a great line. Well, 
Because women are also taught to be polite. So I go right up to the truck, okay. And I'm like standing there waiting for the creepy moment. And then I got, I thought of all the women in Wait, the world. Hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. A guy says to you, Do you mind if I say something kind of creepy to you? Uh -huh. And you go, Why, yes, sir. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> If someone invites you to go into the subway bathroom, say no. No. I don't want to go. Okay, so so, so that's, be rude? So that's I, very nice of you. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. But that's the, women are taught to be polite, and then as we get older and realize we don't have to put up with this, we find our voice sometimes at weird times. So I went uh, right up to the truck, and then I went, no, you can't, and I ran off. And then uh, he just said, ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm married. I'm not hitting on you. Uh, I just love your boots. Because I had these really cool boots on. And I go, that's what you wanted to say? That was the creepy thing? He goes, yes, ma'am. And he goes, I couldn't have lived with myself if, if, if you didn't let me say that. And he drove off. And I was like, <laughs> I was so dramatic. And I was like, I kind of wish I didn't let him say it. And then I kind of could have watched his life play out. Like the man who had all the, you know, he's at home and he's like, can't eat. And his wife's like, Henry, you haven't eaten in two nights. And he's like, got something on my mind, Martha. <laughs> Are you cheating on me, Henry? It's not about sex, Martha. It's about fashion. You know, and then <laughs> he's on his deathbed, and his son is like, Father, any words of wisdom? And he's just like, I love those boots. And then they're like, Really? <laughs> so it just, it gave me an idea that if you're gonna catcall a woman, if you must do it, don't yell about our bodies. Like, if I'm walking around at eight in the morning, I don't want someone being like, Nice ass. It's like, that sounds sarcastic, first of all, that early in the morning. It's like, it doesn't feel nice. You know, I ate a lot last night. And so, it, but if you just yell a compliment, you know, just like, hey, honey, I see you walking around with your independence and your own money. Good for you, sweetie. Hey, uh, I like that that plaid matches the plaid in your shoes. I'm a sucker for details. You've got a good day ahead of you, sweetie. You know, that would be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank good luck. You. I'm sorry. Uh, everybody, uh, Just Keep Living is available on Netflix now. Jen Kirkman, everybody. We'll be right back.